2008 Lexus ES350. I'm going to show you a quick video of what you need to remove to replace the radiator. I got the car jacked up a little bit, a little bit high. So what I went ahead and did first is I took off that bottom cover, which is just held by uh, 10 millimeter screws, and you have one one plastic uh, clip that goes in the middle, somewhere right there. Take that off. Once you take it off, uh, disconnect your battery terminals. And then you'll have this sitting right here, like this. It's held by two 10 millimeter uh, bolts. And then you'll have this one sitting right here. It's got a 10 millimeter also. This one just slides out like that. Once you take that off, go ahead and disconnect this little connector right here. Pushing that tab and then it'll pull out. Okay, now you'll have one, two, uh, three, four, five. Let me see, five screws. And then you see I got the horn uh, disconnected. I uh, disconnected it from here. This is a 12 millimeter. Same for that side, 12 millimeter. And you got this little piece right here, which is sitting like that. It's got a 10 millimeter screw. And before you can lift up this whole thing, see that bracket right there? It's got a 10 millimeter right there. Go ahead and take that off. And then this whole thing should come off. Or you can take it off you see you get a, you got a connector right here let's go ahead and disconnect that connector all right so i got that connector disconnected now we can go ahead and slide this right there we don't need to disconnect that cable the latch cable just leave it on the side like this okay now you see we got plenty of room to uh to remove the uh we're gonna remove the upper radiator hose and we're gonna remove the fan all right so i got that connector disconnected now we can go ahead and slide this right there. We don't need to disconnect that cable, the latch cable. Just leave it on the side like this. Okay, now you see we got plenty of room to uh, to remove the, uh, we're gonna remove the upper radiator hose and we're gonna remove the fan. All right, let's go on ahead and uh, took off that uh, clamp for the upper radiator hose. And before you do that, I forgot to mention the most important part is you need to drain the antifreeze. See that? Just loosen that up and then let it drain all the way out and relieve the, ten uh, the pressure by removing the cap. Hose to the side, disconnect this uh, fan module uh, harness, pressing that tab and then it'll pull up and take this off. Got one more here. Take that one off. Disconnect this uh, reservoir hose too. One more here. Take that off. Just put the whole harness to the side so it's not in the way. And then you got two 10 millimeter uh, 
bolts that's holding to the AC condenser. Go ahead and take that off. All right, now to disassemble the fan. You see you got these two little things here that you just squeeze them together. Alright, so you got these uh, three tabs here, one, two, three, you need to squeeze it and then push the radiator fan out. This one also, and that one. And then your hose is kind of attached to the uh, fan. So just disconnect that hose from there. And then push, pull the radiator back a little bit and then you can lift up the the fan all right so uh, the next step is you see the bottom of the condenser you got two 10 millimeter there also so now it's completely disconnected from the radiator went ahead and took off the lower uh, radiator hose also took that off now the next step is we're going to disconnect the transmission cooler line which is right here. You got one and you got two. So what I like to do, so I don't get any, uh, when, I, when I take this off, we're gonna have transmission fluid leak. A little bit so find something that'll fit something like this this might be a little too big so we're gonna go in the top so you guys can see Take that off and then stick something in that. This might actually be too big. But anyway, we'll just leave it sitting up like that. So it doesn't leak out. Take that all take this off also. Go ahead and do that now. So I got the transmission cooler line disconnected. I got the lower radiator hose disconnected. Everything's disconnected. So she is ready to come out. There's our radiator. So don't forget to take these things off. So we're gonna reuse them. Putting the new one in, 
it's basically just reverse order i'm not going to make a video about it um, but the most important thing once you top it off with antifreeze uh, you need to start up the car uh, turn on your heat your heater on full blast um, what you need to do now is you need to uh, remove the air bubbles in the system and you can do that by letting it idle for about 15 15 minutes until you start until you stop seeing air bubbles coming out of that uh, your radi where the radiator cap is that's it I hope this video helped you if you got any questions comment below click on that subscribe button thanks for watching